Good day, students. Today we're going to build a, a new App Inventor app. We're going to—it's called the Web Viewer. Uh, we're going to use a new component today. It's the uh, the Web Viewer component, and this is going to allow you to uh, inter access the internet through your app. And you're going to be able to include already created web pages. You're going to be able to show up in your app. So I'm going to start off on the Web Viewer template. I'm going to. Just the name a little bit as I'm opening uh, opening the template here. Um, when this app is done, I should have a picture of Serena Williams, picture of Stephen Curry, and when I click on either of the pictures or rather the buttons, uh, I should be able to go to a website with their information on it. So I'm going to get started here. First thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to adjust the screen. I want everything in the middle. It's actually it's already adjusted for me. Uh, I'm going to find under layout, I'm going to find a horizontal arrangement. Notice how it goes straight to the center. And I think this is probably going to need to take up about 75% of the screen. Uh, next thing is I need some buttons. So I'm going to get first button and I'm going to get another button here. And I'm going to do a couple things. So if I'm on button one, I'm going to rename this button. This is going to be the Serena button. So I can easily access it when I'm doing my block coding. Second thing I want to do is I want to take the text off. I don't want any text to show. All of a sudden, there's no text. And the third thing is I need to find the Serena image, which is already uploaded for me. Voila, I've got Serena Williams. I'm going to do the same thing for button two. I'm going to rename this button the Steph button. I'm going to take the text off. And I'm going to put... Mr. Stephen Curry, two-time MVP in there, and he looks pretty good. I guess he could he could fill in a little bit more, so maybe we'll make this a little taller. Or actually, you know what? We're not going to mess with it right now, but you can. All right, last thing we're going to need for our user interface is the web viewer component. It's also here under user interface, web viewer. Voila, it's going to take up that entire space already. Uh, if you need to take a quick break to make sure that you get all this stuff in, now's a good time to press pause. And if you're ready to come back, we can go to the blocks. We can do a little block coding here. So you think about the algorithm that we want here. It's pretty straightforward. When we click on either button, we want it to go to specific web pages. So the first button we want is the Serena button. And we're going to Grab the web viewer here, a uh, block that says when it's when Serena button is clicked, call the web viewer to go to a specific URL. We're going to have to put that URL on ourselves, so we get the text box. And we want Serena Williams' uh, WTA tennis page. We want to get a lot of information on her, so we'll, we'll go to the correct spelling of her name. Here we go. And we've got a cool page with a lot of information about her. Copy that web address. We're going to go put it right in here. And so when we click on the Serena button, it should go to this web address, also known as a URL. We've got to set up our Steph button. Bring out Mr. Steph Curry here. I'm going to call the web viewer. It should be in the web viewer. And we need the text. And we want to go to Steph Curry's NBA.com page. So we'll just go Steph Curry NBA.com his page with some stats and videos and other cool stuff. We'll copy it, come back to App Inventor, and we'll put it right in. Okay, um, that's basically what it's going to look like in the first version of your web viewer app. Um, nice talking to you today. Make sure you get this done and test it. Okay, take care.